Hey guys, this is Yak Miar from the Reddit Rivals here to talk to you today about what we've learned in regards to Kingdom rating so far. Currently, we're in our second matchup, and I'm going to go ahead and take you there, uh, clicking on the battle swords there. As you can see, we're faced off against Malaya Kingdom, and we're doing pretty well. And I've already defeated their king, Zam Oi, it looks like, and. Because of that, I've earned the maximum amount of points for our kingdom. In this matchup, we had 10 bases to defeat, and we can see all of those scrolling left here. However, something you may not be aware of is if you keep scrolling left, you get to see who is in your kingdom defending your castle. Now, the top three players in our kingdom at this time all have a ranking and then therefore involved in this war. What we haven't been able to figure out quite yet is how the other seven bases were chosen to defend. We haven't seen any correlation to stronghold level, trophy count, or loyalty points. So it may be random, but there's probably some type of formula we'll learn about in the near future. Now, clicking on all the bases, you can scout and see what their layout is. You can watch any replays of recent attacks uh, to see the best way to defeat the base. And if you haven't attacked it yet, obviously, you can click the battle button. Now, something to be aware of is you have five morale points. And anytime you lose an attack against any tier of their kingdom, you lose a morale point. And once you are at zero, you can no longer attack and therefore you have maximized the number of points you can earn for your kingdom. Clicking on the rank down here, you can see we've done pretty well. Uh, maximum 375 points from most of our members. And unfortunately, we have a couple that have not participated at all. Uh, each base that you defeat contributes a certain number of points, the lower bases being five points, and uh, gradually going up, I think, to 50 points um, at the king. So that's kind of what's going on for this battle so far. Now, if I switch sque screens for a second here, our first matchup was against Origin 17 and was in a different league. And we only had five bases against five bases in that matchup. And uh, they had very little participation, as you can see. But we were promoted to the Sword League, and each person was awarded 10,000 gold, which was awesome. Um, when we registered for that, or Q, we had an immediate battle for 24 hours, and then a 12-hour cooldown before we could queue up again. However, in this current raid setup, let me go back here to our kingdom. You will see that we have a current ranking of first and will be promoted to Aero League and win 75,000 gold. However, instead of just having one team, there are six and clicking over on the schedule, we have five consecutive days of raids being matched up against different kingdoms. So at the end of this time, we will be promoted to Aero League as long as we do well. And I imagine there will be another cooldown before we can move on. Now, as our kingdom levels up, I imagine we will either be able to have more bases in the raids that can attack or defend or maybe as we are promoted to a new league more than 10 bases will be faced against each other so obviously it's really important that you have everyone contribute their attacks and maximize their points the other thing at stronghold 5 which is where we are right now it's almost impossible to, to defend against an attack you have your three groups of troops that you get to choose from a dragon reinforcement troops that you may have won from chess and any donations you get from your kingdom members and it's really impossible to lose an attack as long as you have a basic idea of where to uh, lay out your troops and how to manage your spells from your ancient so besides that we're still trying to figure some things out and we'll keep you up to date we do want to be involved in the community on reddit as well as for rival kingdoms 
And please post any info you figured out or ask any questions or let me know what kind of information we can help out with in future videos. Thanks and we'll check you later.